just I want to take a moment to thank you. You've been so faithful, but I, I don't know how to say this. I'm, I'm just going to say it. I think we should see other people. I really just need to work on myself in this season. I just feel like I'm too young to be tied down. I, you're just better off with somebody else, you know? You deserve somebody better than me. Somebody, somebody who's gonna wipe your wand. I'm gonna go, um, all the best. We'll stay in touch. I hope we can still be friends. I'm gonna go introduce everybody to So this right here, this is a Slayer espresso machine. And I know what you're probably thinking, what? I'm really excited to talk about why, what it is, and all about that. Uh, but first, let's get this unbagged. That, that's my new espresso machine. Let me show you. So that, that's my new espresso machine. And for those who don't know, that's the Slayer single group. I wanna talk about it. I wanna tell you why I picked this and why I think it's gonna be the perfect espresso machine for my use. But I wanna talk about the Bianca because that was a machine that's been on my brew bar for years. The Bianca's not going anywhere. While I am saying goodbye to it on my brew bar, it's gonna be staying here in the studio. But the Bianca, it's a bittersweet moment because it really was a staple to my brew bar. When I bought it, it wasn't popular. Nobody was using the Bianca and it was a newer machine at the time, but I bought it because of its features, not because of its looks or aesthetics or uh, what influencer had it. And today I see so many people using the Bianca and that warms my heart. Now I'm not saying that's because of me, but I definitely think that that Bianca had a lot of influence on so many people buying one and so that's pretty cool. So don't worry, it's not going anywhere. But let's talk about the Slayer. Why the Slayer? Why would I pick this over other machines? Now for those who don't know, this is a dual boiler espresso machine that is built for a commercial setting. But the nice thing about Slayers, especially their single group, you can use it at home. It uses a massive 3.3 liter steam boiler and a 1.1 liter brew boiler. Now for the home, this is definitely very large. But for a commercial setting, this is definitely adequate and in most cases probably needed. Now with the Slayer, it uses the needle valve technology. And in my opinion, without the Slayer, we never get the Bianca. Now the Slayer was really the one to engineer this, really create it. And in many instances, this was the machine that really revolutionized flow control, flow profiling in the world of home espresso. And for me, it's also one of the most beautiful espresso machines, right? When I look at this, there are so many beautiful espresso machines on the market. But personally, for me, this is that espresso machine that really just stands out. For me, in many ways, this is like when I was, you know, 12, 13 and I would have pictures of Ferraris on my bedroom wall and espresso like this is that Ferrari like the Lamborghini right you've got high-end espresso machines the Slayer one group the Slayer single group it's kind of that for me and so for me that was always the dream to always have this espresso machine in a cafe or at the home because it's just absolutely beautiful now this machine also uses a rotary vein pump at one time, Slayer used gear pumps like other espresso machines, but they've swapped the rotary vane for reliability and some other features that we'll talk about more in the full review, which is to come. Now, this does allow the Slayer to use an external water tank or to be plumbed in. And what's interesting about the Slayer, it actually doesn't have a built-in water tank, which at first I was a little worried about, but to be honest, it's nice to have a more compact espresso machine. And honestly, once you get to these styles of espresso machines, Plumbing in is just kind of a no brainer for most people. And if you're not able to, well, an external water tank under a cabinet or hidden away just keeps everything really clean and you have to fill up the water tank a little less often. So I actually prefer that. 
Now, we'll talk more about what I think about this machine in my full review because I've been using it for about two months now. It's very different in how it operates than a Bianca. The Bianca has variable flow control so you can adjust to any pressure on the fly. Where this, the Slayer is more meant for a commercial setting where multiple baristas are using one machine. And so what that means is it actually has set pre-brew is what they call it, flow rates. You can adjust this at any point in time, but you cannot adjust it on the fly. So this creates a lot of consistency in shots, but it obviously limits your um, experimentation on the fly. For me, I actually really enjoy this in my setting only because my wife never really touched that flow profiling paddle, but now I can say, hey, throw that pre-brew on until you see first drips of coffee or for 15 seconds and then throw it full pressure, you know, and, and, and it's just more consistent. She can brew, I can brew. So I personally like that for our setting. Now for many of you, you would be turned off by that and I would totally understand that, but for the vast majority of people, including my wife, she doesn't care to experiment in between each shot. And so for her, she would rather be able to have more consistency in her day to day. So that's what it is. You can use it, you don't have to. You can also program the machine so that you can turn the actuator all the way and it will do all the pre-brews and flow rates that you want, you know, ramp up, ramp down, all that kind of stuff. It's pretty convenient, but we'll talk more about that in the full review. Now this machine's also got a lot of tech. Now this is by no means a decent espresso machine in terms of tech, but it definitely still has a lot of tech, right? You've got a touch screen built into the back of the machine. And I think I really love how they've done this. It looks very traditional. For me, I wanted a more mechanical machine. It's tucked away behind the cup rail. I can use it, I don't have to use it. And then we got to talk about the custom paint. And this was done by I Drink Coffee, and this is not sponsored, but I want to give them a huge shout out because this is my favorite vendor. I Drink Coffee in Slavic, they have their own YouTube channel, and we worked together to be able to customize this espresso machine to my desires, and they were so fantastic to work with, and I cannot recommend them enough. The nice thing about I Drink Coffee is you can buy the machine and you can customize it there too. I, it was just a one-stop deal. They're my go-to vendor, um, especially if you're in Canada. I just can't recommend them enough. They're just so wonderful. They're, they're incredible people. So go check them out. I'll leave a link to their shop down below. And so for me, this means a lot. You know, for me, it means a lot to be able to get a machine like this. And, and I have all of you to thank. Like I'm really only able to do this because of all of you. So honestly, from the bottom of my heart, truly I'm so thankful for all of you. Thanks for watching my videos. It really means the world. Now, I wanna talk a lot about the Slayer, but I wanna keep this video short because we're gonna talk so much about it in the full review. We're gonna compare this to the Bianca. We're gonna do so many things, but I've been enjoying this espresso machine so much. And, oh, and you wanna know why not the Decent, right? Well, honestly, the Decent is wonderful. I will have one eventually, I'm sure, especially for the studio. But for me, daily use, I'm just not a technology person where I want a big iPad. That's just me. I know you can take it off, I know all of that, but for me, it just wasn't, it just wasn't me. I really can't explain it. It's just not the machine that I wanted to use daily. So let me wrap this up by saying, if you have any questions, what I wanna know more about the Slayer, let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna to respond to as many as possible. Honestly, I can't thank you guys enough. And I'm gonna ask you guys to do one more thing. Hit that thumbs up button if you're into coffee on YouTube, if you enjoy videos like this, if you're excited for that full Slayer video, if you're excited to compare this against the Bianca and maybe even cheaper special machines, let me know by hitting that thumbs up down below. It would tell YouTube that coffee on YouTube is awesome. I love each and every single one of you guys. We will see you guys all in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Peace.